Avril, uh, exciting time in any player's career to be picked for Australia for the first time. What were your emotions when you heard you'd made the Wallaroos team? Um, uh, I suppose at first you don't really know. Like, for for me, there's just this. This is the best moment of my life, and so this is actually the first time, just for this obviously this media event that I've worn this jersey, and it's really emotional. Um, you know, you you play a sport because you love it, but it becomes so much less about you as a person and, and more about the jersey when you're standing here and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity. I mean, you, you've been very much part of a new pathway coming into Super W, uh, very raw, making the most of it and now getting through to the Australian squad. Um, do you think there's lots of girls out there like you who will be inspired to see there is such a, an obvious pathway to play well and get through to the top ranks? Yeah, I, sp I suppose that's been a, a big part of why I, I've always loved rugby is, you know, I'm never going to be the most talented person in the room. I'm certainly, like, come from, you know, I was like a lollipop head when I started, so it wasn't very big. It's it's just taken a lot of time and, and the best thing about rugby union is that you can be any body shape, any size, you can come from any background and as long as you want it bad enough and you try hard enough, it, it you can get there and that's, there aren't any imposed limits on you, which is I think probably um, what's inspired me the most and, and why it's so meaningful to me is, is the empowerment that you know, young girls coming through can have that as long as you want it, there's nothing stopping you. Uh, you seem to like hitting people on the field. Is that, um, you, you, like what you've said there, it's, it seems like no one's going to stop you doing what you want to do on the field. Like, is that part of the sensation when you stop someone in a big tackle? Um, I probably wouldn't put that challenge out there. Um, I certainly am not inviting anybody to try and stop me on the field. But, um, yeah, just that's my role on a team, generally speaking, um, is I'm more of a defensive player than an offensive player. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just there to, to do my job. I'm, I suppose it's, it comes down to the, yeah, what, what role you play on the team. Uh, you, you look at the, uh, the talent across uh, the Wallaroo squad, drawn from all the teams in, in Super W. How exciting is it to imagine all that talent being put together in one team for one focus? Yeah, it's, it's incredibly exciting just to um, be in the same squad as some of those girls and, and learn off them and, and their experience. And you've got this awesome combination of, of fresh faces coming through and really experienced girls who've, who've played for a long time. So yeah, it's to get the opportunity to do this, we're so lucky and yeah, I, I can't wait. Uh, the Japanese team, they, they offer really uh, unique challenges mm. as a team. Obviously very fast, very well drilled, uh, can challenge a team over a f full length of a game. What, what do you expect from the Japanese? Oh, uh, exactly, exactly what you said, um, really technically proficient, uh, really fit set piece is usually quite like quite excellent with the Japanese so um, you know and and there's certainly no um, absence of physicality as well so Japan are uh, as good as as any team in the world if if not more technically proficient in some areas so you know they've got a really thriving sevens program over there they've got a uh, tournament scene over there that's that's just got s some of the best sevens for women in the world to go over and play so um, yeah certainly expect a, a really fit um, aggressive team and you know we're really looking forward to, to playing them. Uh, when did um, Avril Mitchell first have a little dream about uh, wearing the gold of Australia? Um, well, probably the end of my first season. It's you know, I don't know about about anyone else, but it's it's something that is pretty. Uh, you know, it's it, if you want to play at the at the highest levels or see how far you can go. Certainly, playing for Australia is one of them. I never thought that it would actually happen, 
um, it's this, yeah, it's all been pretty, it's all pretty surreal still. Um, and I, I, yeah, I'm just not equipped. I don't think this is the most emotions I've felt. So, so I'm still dealing with it a little bit. It's, it's like what an unbelievable privilege. Uh, you look at some of the other uh, girls in the team. Um, talk us through a few of the Queensland talents that are coming into the Wallaroos team and uh, how good you think they'll be for the program. Oh, I, how long have you got, really? Oh, give us a couple of minutes. Yeah. They're, um, you know, uh, Christina Sakona, who's in the front row with me, she's incredible, picked rugby up maybe like a year, two years ago, and is just physically a freak has trained harder than anyone else in pre-season, you know, obviously not to put a damper on anyone else, but how hard she trained in pre-season for somebody who weighs however much, all six feet of her way, like how incredible, what an amazing talent coming through and we're so lucky to have her. Um, you've got you've got a ton, a, just, yeah, a ton of talent. You've got a lot of experienced players up here in Queensland and then fresh faces as well coming through. So, you know, like uh, Alicia as well is just, she's obviously been on the radar for, for a while, but I think we saw in Super W just how far, Alicia is one of those players that stands out in a, in a stacked field. Um, and that's, you know, we've just got really special players coming through and really special people and we're so lucky. Yeah, I think that that's pretty... To be in the squad by itself um, is... Yeah, to, to be in this squad by itself is, is unbelievable. And then to do it with, you know, one of, one of your best mates is, ha it just doesn't happen. It's a bit of a, a bit of a fairy tale. And so I think we're both a little bit still shocked, but Laurie's a huge part of, of how I'm here in the first place. She's such an unbelievable friend and a, and a great leader on and off the field. Um, she's a huge part of this, of this team here in Queensland and you know, I think we're both just really excited to to be a part of the squad, um, debuts or not, just to the, the learning experience and to get to do it together is like, it's unreal. And just um, finally, obviously a lot of chat around the Dining Hall redevelop um, to come hopefully in the not too distant future with women's rugby to be a big part of the redevelopment. Um, obviously you're playing down in New South Wales this time around, but how awesome would it be to potentially in the years to come have a training base here in Queensland for the world? Obviously, we'd love to we'd love to bring the final up here in in Queensland. Uh, all one squad now, but still a little bit sore from the uh, the grand final loss down there in Sydney. Ballymore is such a such an important part of Queensland rugby. It's it's a huge part of our history here, and just standing on this turf is is a special experience that you know can wear off when you're training here all the time, but the first couple of times and even just moments like this where it's like a really lovely afternoon and you're just in the stadium when it's all quiet, the the great historical moments that have happened here, it would be unbelievable to bring rugby, especially women's rugby and rugby for Australia here, here to Ballymore um, in the future with the, with the redevelopment and really looking forward to those opportunities in the future.